Hello there! Today I'm going to show you how I used my Big Shot machine with a metal die to emboss a shape on a one layer card. Firstly I took the multi-purpose platform and opened it up completely and placed that onto my Big Shot. For the next part of the sandwich I took the one of the cutting plates and place that onto the platform. Then came a piece of normal card, anything you'd make a card blank out of, and one of the rubber embossing mats. Then I took my card blank and I'm just showing you where I want my metal die place so that it makes a frame. You put that on top of the rubber mat. Take your metal die, but make sure that the cutting edge is facing upwards, as in away from the card. Then place it where you want it to be embossed. Then after that, I just took a piece of normal copy paper and placed that on top. And finally, the second cutting plate. And then I ran it through the machine. And now you'll see when you take all the pieces away and get back to your card blank, you actually have a debossed area on your card where the metal die has been. If you turn it over you have an embossed area where it's sticking out. So here I'm just deciding whether I want the debossed or the embossed area to be uppermost and I've decided the emboss where it sticks out will be at the front. So now I'm taking my Misty and I'll add a little clear pirate stamp so that he's right inside the frame and then just inking that up with some uh, black memento ink. We'll place that little pirate into the frame. So you can see how the embossed area really makes a focal point for the little image, it draws your eye into it. And next I'm making up a sentiment from a couple of different sets of words. Oh, please excuse my messy bun, it was a bit crazy that day so it keeps getting in the way. Um, I've used two sets of words to make this sentiment, one from wow, the other from you. I'll put the details in the description below so you can see which exact sets I used. Yeah, just a final crease to make sure it's, it's nicely flat before I start using just normal colour pencils to colour this image in. Uh, because my video editing won't let me go any faster than this and it did take me a while to colour this in putting multiple layers of colour onto the image I will probably leave it here and then we'll cut to the end where I've had it all coloured in and as you can see I've actually added some shading just inside the frame to make it look a little more prominent And there you have it, that is the finished card. Just zooming in a little so you can see the frame is still there. It's not very good light to show it at 
the time that I finish the colouring. But hopefully you can just pick it up still. So a one layer card with a metal die embossed frame on it. Well I hope you found this tutorial useful and that you'll give this um, embossing with a metal die technique a go. If you found it useful please give me a like and maybe leave me a comment and if you'd love to subscribe I'd love to have you. I have lots more uh, videos just waiting to be put up here. Thank you for watching.